Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ryan Reacts. I don't know what this is, but it's happening. I am Roboto. Today, we watch five weirdest Japanese urban legends. Because I didn't get enough of the 50 bajillion I watched and got cursed out the asshole. That was fun. The day after I finished the video, I sat in the toilet and just ghost girls came out of my asshole for an hour. I was just like, ah! So here we are again with more urban legends. They might be the same. I don't know. But we're going to sit back and watch. And it is by Creeps Plays. So last month on the main channel, I got wow, some Bowser's your loud buddy. creepy and haunting Japanese urban legend profiles. Been there, done that, However, buddy. Not all Japanese spirits are dark and evil. Some... Really? Just, I didn't know. All the ones so I met are. Here's five of the weirdest Japanese One just came up and I split my nipple. My I was like, get out of here, Ringu. And she's like, hey, hey, hey. she crawled back at the TV. Karakazu my nipple Kozu. was never the same. Oh, sorry, what? These silly looking spirits are transformations. I know of these things from video games, of course. Umbrellas. They have either one or two legs, which they hop around wildly on. And at least take eye, two doses of crack cocaine every day. Protruding tongue. You can tell by their eyeballs. It's just like. Karakazu Kozu is not particularly dangerous as far as Japanese what, what, spirits who go. Who made this? Mainly keeping who just looked at... I'm just going to take humans. a whack and say it's someone was high on LSE humans. and looked at it's a umbrella. Because that's the only thing you can think of, really. Oily lick with its enormous tongue. They're the funniest Caution things ever. Advised, however, as there are umbrella spirits which are dangerous to humans. And care should be taken not to confuse... And they will make sure you do get spirit. rained on, you bastards! Nobopepo. The Nobopepo is a bizarre and creepy creature found in ruined temples, well, overgrown graveyards, to be fair, and other he's just got a face mutation. I don't know if he's truly creepy. This creature is known for its revolting- Oh god, he's got little hands and feeties! A very strong odor of rotten meat. Oh, it that's not his fault. flabby, roughly humanoid chunk of flesh about the size of a child, with lumpy, undeveloped hands and feet, and- It's lumpy space princess's husband! Features. <laughs> Nupopepo appear usually only. I love his name too. And are not known to cause any particular harm or mischief. I want one. Can I have one as a friend? He looks amazing, fun. To enjoy the nauseating he also looks like the little raisinette guys if they were made if of flesh. We cause chaos and havoc by running around and disgusting people, and outrunning not his villagers fault. who try to chase them down and kill them. <laughs> poor Nupopepo are very rare and there are only yeah, a few poor guy. Of I feel bad for him. Though their grotesque form is well known. Accounts usually describe lords sending hosts of warriors to chase the creature out of a castle or a temple. Only and here's what he looks like if he was made of pure shit. Causing some of them to swoon and faint from its odor. I love the background, by the way. Creepy plays. You get a, you get one of these for that. Quickly and is notoriously hard to catch. How? To the you see him little legs? How fast could he go? flesh imparts incredible power on those who eat it providing they are willing and able to keep it down. And it can also be made into a powerful medicine with excellent curative properties. There's Japan for you! Origin oh, they're at it again! It is Eat the moldy midget! Of the you get magic battle. powers! Some scholars suggest that Welcome the to Japan. Welcome may to in fact Japan. be a botched transformation of an inexperienced shape-shifting creature. That poor raccoon never saw it coming with his giant testicles turned into that. Shime. What's next? Shimei. The story goes as follows. Well, thanks! Ago, I just want to see an asshole today! The thanks, Aunt Japan! That's it! It's a walking asshole! Who's here? Am yeah. I gonna have to censor no, that? Good. I'm not! Only you look at the asshole with me! Man stripping off his clothes and pointing his bare buttocks at the flabbergasted traveler. A huge, glittering eye then opened up... It is an asshole! Man's anus should have been. From a distance, Shirami appeared to be a normal human being. When close enough, however, it becomes apparent that it is a spirit. I'm dead inside! It has no facial features, but located in dead a inside. large eye which shines like lightning. Shirami approaches travelers on the road late at night, looking like a man wearing a kimono. Once it has their attention, it asks them if they have a moment to spare. J Japan? Before they can Why? answer... The How? Drops its How'd you get here? The ground, bends over, That's spreading it. its butt cheeks, and revealing the giant, shining eye located inside of its Not the first area. Japanese man to do that to me. 
Other than its very startling behavior, Shirame does not do anything harmful. It appears he to just looks at you. solely on the joy of scaring people. With his asshole. It is also apparent that the Shirame might be a type of Nokrabo, only it can give a double surprise. First showing the featureless face, then bending over and exposing the eyeball butt. The Shirame doesn't have any bad intentions or evil purposes. He just thinks it's He just wants to show his skills, alright? If you have an eye hole butt hocks, you would also want to show it on America's Tofu Got Kozo. Talent or Japan. It's got Tofu Kozo, a small creature. Ah, the scariest of all! A bald children, man. Except for their large heads and clawed fingers and toes. Looks like Krillin. They wear little boys Krillin is the weirdest thing in Japan. Wide-brimmed hats. The typical outfit of a tofu selling young boy. How are you gonna? Hair. How are you gonna throw this at me? They are usually depicted. You can't be asshole, man. All right, bold guy. Let's see what you got. Give it to me. I'm ready. My body's they are ready. Usually found in urban areas in close proximity to people. Tofu kozo are timid and weak creatures, and are not known to be aggressive towards humans. On rare occasions, a tofu kozo may follow a human home on a rainy night. But for the most part, they shy away from any confrontation. Tofu Kozo are first and foremost servant spirits. Even among other spirits, they are often bullied and Did Japan see a midget spirits. and this is what happened? They get no respect God damn it, Japan! Them. What? At most, they act as menial servants to the more powerful legends. This urban legend creature was so bizarre, so odd and unremarkable that I had to put it on this list. It's just a weird-looking tofu seller boy. Right? Uh, dude, I'm gonna give it to you, creeps. There, it was urban legend. Urban legend. Any gentleman who is of a dwarf or midget variety, which I don't know which is the politically correct one. I apologize either way. Kishi tofu. Poof. Urban legend. Real. It's like if you found a guy. In, in like a cabin, and he has no face, and you put him in a suit. Boom! There's the Slenderman. He's real now. Yakumi translates to 100 eyes. Oh. And, like its name suggests, Yakumi is covered from head to foot with countless blinking yellow eyes. Underneath those eyes is a fleshy body, roughly man-sized. Is he related to with Asshole Man? Closed, it resembles a pink lump of flesh. Wouldn't it be funny if he and doesn't have an eye in his asshole? From the and that's what makes asshole eye so, so special? Their homes in old temples, oh, he's got floating eyes, too. From would -be thieves you know how I know this? During the day, I know the it from Power Rangers, where I put the picture up. And so they eye guy. At night, Thanks, Power Rangers. The lighter hours or Sentai in Rangers. In shadowy buildings where few humans ever go. Should a human come within a few meters of the... You know, you said a thousand eyes. I'm calling you out on that. There's a, at least maybe a hundred. You're a liar. ...towards the person, sticking to their body for as long as he or she is in the area, watching them for criminal activity. <laughs> Eventually, the Police officer! The He's a superhero! When Hyakumi attack, they jump out of the dark in a threatening manner. They're not particularly violent and rely on their size and fearsome appearance to scare humans away. Spider-Man, eat your heart anyway, out. I hope you enjoyed this week's list. And if you oh, did, you want to see no! scary Japanese legends. I gotta go, creeps. Goodbye. Goodbye, creeps. Goodbye. Thank you for that last picture that's gonna haunt me forever. I probably saw it already because I'm still cursed out the asshole. It, you know, the thing with Japan is they'll make weird monsters, but almost that's not the weird part because every, like, mythical creature... Can, like in every like Greek mythology, Roman mythology, all these mythologies have weird creatures. Nowhere as near as many as Japan, but that's not what makes Japan's monsters weird. It's their stories. Does any legend have bald little man who gives you tofu? Eyeball, thousand eyeball superhero making sure to help the police officers out when they need it. Could you imagine that nowadays? Like. A gang war is going on, they're shooting this little weird blob guy with a thousand eyes come out. Hey, buddy! You stop there right there! Don't shoot me. Actually, don't scrape me, because I'm made of eyeballs. Uh, to be honest, uh, anything will hurt. Yeah, if you even toss that, uh, that water bottle at me, it's, uh, it's gonna, I was gonna throw a water bottle at myself, but it's full of water, I would freaking ruin my life. Hey, I'm glad those were all different, but boy, creeps, you get a like on my part, because... 
Those were some weird ones. Go over to Creeps Play. The video is once again in the description. Give him some love. That video was very well done. Some real good finds. And of course, if you enjoy my video, subscribe, like, and share the video. Became Rikishi. And of course, comment what videos you would like me to react to. You know what? Before this episode ends, let's let's take a moment to remember all our favorite great Japanese monsters. Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh, a classic. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, I don't know what I'm putting up. Oh! Whoa! Oh! I could put a ring on that one. Mm. Oh. Woo! Squeaky squeak! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm gonna regret this in the future when I edit it. Whoa! 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 Oh, hi there. My name's Ryan the Hobo from the classic. Gaming channel, live dead man, Ho Hobo Ryan plays. It's got one billion subscribers, and you should also check me out. And also, I do reaction videos. <laughs>